Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Hedera and HBAR. And before we jump on in, I just want to say, are you guys excited about these transactions, these statistics that you see on your screen? Because although 1.38 billion transactions is a lot for a one month time frame, I want to ask you, are you going to be excited when you see 1 billion transactions per day? Because in a not so distant future, we will see this. And the TPS demand is going to be higher than any network in crypto. See, I don't think people truly realize just how big Hedera is. It's a ticking time bomb waiting for the next major enterprise grade use case to go fully live. When that happens, depending on which one it is, it could ultimately allow the network to have a demand in the billions of transactions per day. But enough talking about it. Let's dive into a few things. So I seen this tweet over here from Piggy over on Twitter and we do see do not own any H bar or Hedera, if you will. Uh, but this gets interesting when you consider the vast amount of enterprises on service now that look to their platform to improve and automate business processes, including CM. Now, yes, we've talked about service now many times in the past. In fact, this was one of my uh, more interesting applications that we've looked into just because of the scope and the vast amount of uh, transactional demand this could boast. Now, again, going back to this tweet, it's interesting that a lot of people are finding out about partnerships like ServiceNow now. Um, and think about the overall FOMO that we will see on Hedera when more and more individuals find out about some of these partnerships. I mean, listen, you go over to the GC list and you're met with some incredible names that most of the general public would know. Um, for example, most people know about Ubisoft. Most people know about uh, Google, IBM, FIS, FPOS, EDF. I mean, these are names that are well known, even Dell, right? And I'm sure that we will see other ones like MasterCard or uh, we might see Sony, um, Microsoft, etc. Like we will see these big names and I almost forgot about LG here. Um, but yeah, it, it, this is like just the beginning and it's crazy because a large portion of the general public is not aware of what Hedera is doing. Many don't even know about HBAR. Um, but at some point in time, in my opinion, um, we will start to see a flood of investors jumping into what Hedera is doing because of the overall impact that it will have globally on every major sector and industry that it's touching. Now let's dive into service now, right? Because we've talked about this many times in the past, but for those that are new to the channel, maybe new to Hedera, let's take a little bit of a dive in here. So they talk about the business problem more so they talk about, um, you know, the it's just the idea of like brands and companies connecting with the customer customer more um, in terms of like personalization, celebrating milestones, stuff like that. They kind of go in depth on like loyalty programs as well, which we know that, um, you know, crypto, blockchain, DLT, it, it could have a massive disruption within that area. Um, and we even see like the token economy itself. Tokens are valuable, representative, distinct, digital, and authentic assets. And uh, they actually do mention that this could very well be huge for the um, loyalty aspect around like loyalty programs with a lot of these major corporations and companies. Um, but they also do mention a lot more going in depth on this. And here you guys have, for example, a customer. You have Alice at the center point. Then you have all these major connections to everything um, around specific types of the token economy, if you will. Um, and there's a lot more to this. There's a ton of stuff to really kind of talk about with this, but I don't want to talk about this mainly. I want to talk about the overall scope this has on enterprises, corporations, companies, etc. So yes, this is a great use case for companies to connect with customers. And we do see the use case description. So here we have the use case description. We have you know, producers, fast shoes, super marathon, you have Alice, and then you have Stillwater. Uh, for example, in this use case, 
We will see how ServiceNow helps organizations create and distribute their tokens. We will also see how ServiceNow can provide both enterprise wallets to allow the organization to manage the token lifecycle and integrate with customers' wallets to manage and present their tokens. In the use case, we will see the customer journey of a user, Alice, who has bought um, a pair of running shoes from Fast Shoes. After her purchase, Alice can redeem an NFT from the Fast Shoes customer service portal, a digital twin of her product. The digital twin helps Alice validate the authenticity and the provenance of the product by knowing the item's manufacturer and its scores in terms of sustainability and workers' conditions. Now, you see where Hedera will be at this point hedera will power all of this around the token life cycle meaning as we scroll down here first off you could see all of the um, relationships between the brand and customers being created during this um, and here is how it is implemented um, we're using a single service now instance holding the keys for all the enterprise participants in the demo um, but the ServiceNow instance is integrated with the Hedera DLT through the ServiceNow Hedera connector and to the customer wallet hash pack through the hash connect libraries. And uh, here you guys have the full on um, graphic. So let me open this up real quick in a new tab. So here you guys have the Hedera hash graph. Here you have the ServiceNow platform for digital business. You could see uh, the cross-functional ecosystem connection and you could see all of the major names tied to this. You guys could see a few of them. Um, I'm sure that you guys are probably aware of some of these by the way splunk is a huge company i highly suggest you guys do a little bit of research on splunk you also see oracle down here connection to 430,000 companies globally they're a cloud-based giant we know this from quant you also see adobe here i use adobe products on an everyday basis but you also see some of the major um just ecosystem connections around like cross functionality and then we up uh, we see up here like customer and industry workflows, employee workflows, technology workflows, and creator workflows. And you see everything down here as well on you know the instances behind this from the platform foundation, configuration, and intelligence. And you see Hashpack Wallet by Protocol Labs, NFT storage. This is like the NFT storage area. But Hashpack Wallet will play a vital role in this as the wallet which is also why I say like Hashpack is doing incredible things. Um, and this is all through Hedera Hashgraph as well. This is a huge opportunity. Now, they do also mention a few reasons why they chose Hedera. It's because of the environmental sustainability and stuff like that. Uh, but they also talk about how big this is for the overall industry around organizations, companies, brands, etc. And also even the... Um, just the individual that is buying things, utilizing things. We even see like this collaboration can include enterprises, sports teams and associations, public personalities, artists, and even influences like the influencers. Sorry. Like this is everything around customer value. And when we take a look at service now, we've talked about them many times in the past. The reason why I'm bringing it back down um, is because of just how big uh, this company is. Like 80% of the Fortune 500 have modernized their technology with us. They are a leading name behind the Fortune 500 list. You can look at some of the companies that they are partnered with over on their website. For example, if you hit read stories, you can see just some of the companies that are working with them. Don't worry, I do also have the partner finder up here, which we will uh, take a look at. But uh, here is some of those major names. And you can go through this um, and look at like all of the major names. Like for example, some of the industries that they have are education, energy and utilities, financial services, government, healthcare, manufacturing, retail service providers, and you know the rest. Um, for example, if we hit energy and utilities, here is EDF, for example. EDF is a huge one. Tata as well. Big giant, which are already partners of Hedera anyways. Um, but you can see all of the other ones. And there's even more pages of utility companies. And then if you want to go to financial services, you got, I mean, like this, like it's a direct connection to massive names. Um, I really, and by the way, Finastra is a giant. If you haven't looked at Finastra, suggest you guys look at Finastra as well. Um, but this is why I've talked about like, the domino effect of some of these partnerships like this is a huge huge domino effect um i really do think that at the end of the day when people realize these names that are tied to hedera when when you realize just some of the companies that have that domino effect that exposure to hedera technology through something like ServiceNow, 
99% of the general public will start to realize. I mean, I mean, maybe it won't even be 99%. Maybe people will be utilizing Hedera technology without even knowing Hedera's name. Uh, that would be the best scenario, right? Um, but you could see just like these names. You could see Overstock, Wayfair, Aaron, 7-Eleven. Um, there's so many other ones as well. Like you can look at just throughout the entire list. Um, Accenture's here, KPMG, Deloitte, DXC Technology, um, even Fusion 3 Consulting, which these are like consulting companies and stuff. Um, but there's just so many. Like we can go through the, the partnerships all day long. Um, you could also find uh, companies as well. Here's like Refined Buy, and there's many industries. Like I said, there's so many um, healthcare companies, for example. I don't know if you guys will know um, any of them, but there is quite a bit of them. It takes a little bit to load this. But if you guys want to go look at this more in depth, you guys are more than welcome to. Um, I don't want to waste too much time here because, again, I can look at this all day long. There's just so many major names here. Um, and, again, I don't want to waste too much time. Now, as we do look at other major enterprise-grade applications, another one that I've said many times in the past that is a huge one is the Coupon Bureau. So as you scroll down the list, sorry I went a little bit too far, here's the Coupon Bureau right on the same line as uh, ServiceNow and a few other ones. Um, and again, remember, there's so many here that you guys can look at. Um, but the Coupon Bureau has been one that we've always looked at as a big one. There's a lot of coupon fraud. There's over $600 million worth of coupon fraud. Um, Hedera is changing the way that these are verified um, scanned all that kind of stuff and this is through um, the new standard which is 8112 this is from the coupon bureau they are creating this they've actually uh, started to be begin uh, development of this new uh, more secure barcode which is the 8112 standard um, and here you guys have um, how this will be utilizing Hedera consent the service at the center point of it the coupon is logged to agreed upon Hedera topic ID for each update creation redemption and expiration so about two or no three processes here will uh, generate um, three different transactions off of just one coupon so remember that right so off of one coupon, three redemptions happen, um, or three transactions, if you will, on the Hedera Constant Service. As we focus on that, also look at the customers and partners of Phoebe, which is the main name behind the Coupon Bureau, which we've always looked at. Um, but as we look at that, right, there's 350 billion coupons used per year, which, by the way, the first 40 seconds of this video, uh, Gossip About Gossip, which just got posted two years ago um listen closely to this video real quick and then we'll talk a little bit more about how large this is uh, uh, as an opportunity the numbers are pretty staggering when you realize it's, it's 356 billion coupons were issued when you try to wrap your mind around that number you realize that almost 15 to 20 percent of that is fraud and if you can cut that back that is magic welcome to hedera hashgraph so yeah, um, the fraud area of coupons is a huge opportunity, but think about it like this, right? If you have those 350 billion trend, uh, 350 billion coupons being pushed over Hedera, which if this is going to be that new standardization um, around coupons and how they are generated, then yes, they will be pushed over Hedera. You have three different transactional um, methods here, AKA processes. Um, this is going to be a game changer because if you have those 350 billion pushed over Hedera with those three different major um, transactional processes, this is over 1 trillion transactions per year. Um, so if we're taking into an accountability that divided by 365, so the days of the year, you're looking at about 2 point almost 9 billion transactions. Uh, per day, right? So now, as we go back over to Hedera's overview, just to give you guys a quick revenue insight, which again, this is just like a rough estimate on how much this will be generating per day in revenue for Hedera. So 2.9 billion off of just one use case, by the way, remember that. Um, this is about $290,000 per day in, in gross revenue for Hedera. So that is per year off of just one use case, $106 million. Right now, as you guys do see, the transactional flow per month is 1.38 billion. So think about it like this. 
if we are having that massive amount of transactions per day you could probably guess where hedera will be and uh with that being said i hope that you guys enjoyed this video guys definitely have a like subscribe channel notifications on if you guys have more free content you guys are more than welcome to follow me on twitter and join the free discord down in the description below uh so i hope that you all have a beautiful day beautiful night wherever you guys are on this beautiful world this has been nick peace out guys